everyone, Coach Chris here and today we're going to discuss on how you can make the most out of your ab wheel. In case you've been doing this one but you can't do the full version yet of getting really flat onto the ground or even doing it from standing up position, this is a quite a good regression on how you can slowly progress from it. There's going to be some fine details here that can actually make a big difference to your body's positioning where you can get the most out of that midsection stability without hurting your back. So first thing to do, having both of your knees to a soft surface, okay, but once you're doing the movement, if, you're feel, if your knees are feeling uncomfortable, then that's going to serve as a distraction for you, okay? So have your knees to some soft kind of surface. From your starting position, making sure that your back isn't arching. Instead, you'd want for your lower back to just slightly tilt back thinking as if that this part of your lower back wants to shoot up towards the ceiling. So from here through here. So usually once you get to that position, you get the midsection muscles already stabilizing, which is kind of good. Once you get into this position, you would want that your thighs and your torso would move as one unit. So from there, so the wheel is actually just underneath my belly bottom to start off. I'm gonna get my thighs and my torso to move as one unit while keeping my shoulders down so avoid the shrugging as well in order for us to get those lats working in so you can see there that's our well pack not this way but this way cool we get started we're going to breathe in then very long exhale so in that position there you can see my thighs are straight as well to get my torso moving as one unit, then from there, pulling it back. As you can see over here, there's a dumbbell there. The dumbbell serves as an indi indicator for me on how much my range is at the moment. It's going to be a good uh, reference point of how far can I go with full control into my abdominal muscles because we want full control as we go forward and even as we return back. Usually you'd start to lose control once you reach your end range then your lower back usually kicks in in order for you to go back. Okay so let's do that one again. So starting from here, tapping in my core, my pelvis doesn't arch, breathing in and breathing out. Again, so we want full control from our midsection, allowing our thighs and our torso to move as much as possible as one unit. So give this one a try, let me know how it goes.